and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you some uh, chord progression tips and we're going to look at chord progression and uh, melodies over chord progressions. So what I like to do is uh, if we say we have we're in the C major scale and we have a C chord, maybe a D chord, and the fifth which is uh, G major back to C. If you play all these chords in root position it will sound quite awkward and boring and that we lay out the chords so we have the root, the third and the fifth it will be like this instead try to do some voice leading and with voice leading you try to make the smallest amount of movement between the notes uh, in these chord progressions so if we start on the C here I add the 9 here the C to the D You see that that's uh, not a lot of movement there between the C and the D minor. And then to go to the G, we just move the A up to the B here. And back to C. That sounds a lot smoother. And what I also like to do is not uh, always start on the root position. That means... Uh, I don't start all my chord progressions on the, the one chord. In C major is the C. We could in start, instead start with the second chord, which is uh, one, two, the D minor. So we start with the D. To the fifth chord, the G. Down to the C. Or uh, some more interesting chord progressions. We could take uh, in the C major scale, we take the A. A chord, which is the sixth chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we create the chord on, on that note. So we have an A minor. Maybe add the seventh. And go up to the C. And to the fourth chord. So that makes up for, for more interesting chord ideas. And the good thing here is that we never go to the fifth chord, which is a very strong leading chord back to our one chord, which is which is the C. Instead, we're we're working in the with the minor chord up to the C and down to the F. If we look at another chord progression, we can go the 6 to the 4 to the 4, which is the F, and to the 1 chord, and to the 5th. And another chord progression variation, let's uh, select the 4th. That's our first chord, down to the 1, which is the C, up to the 5th, and the 6th and the 5th, and back to our 4th chord. And we can play it like this. As long as you stay away from that sto uh, strong uh, leading notes in the fifth chords, uh, you have can have a quite open and nice uh, harmonization in the progression. Another thing I like to do with my chords is uh, if we have that progression, the A minor to the C, 
and down to the F. We could look at uh, find out what the first chord is in this chord progression, and uh, the one chord is the C because this uh, progression is in C major. We could take the second note, which is a D, and the third note, which is a E, and the fifth note, which is a G, and repeat these notes uh, after each other with an arpeggio like this. And that also works in the minor scale. Now we were playing in C major. Let's take a, a minor scale, so we can take the... Let's take this... Uh, yeah. G minor 7. Down to an E. And up to a B chord. B major. Down to uh, F sharp uh, add 9. So this is the 9. And back to our... G sharp, E, and then the B, so this progression is in G sharp, so we can do the same thing here, the second note in G, sh in G sharp is uh, the A sharp to the B, which is the third, and then uh, our fifth, which is the, the D sharp. Let's play that a little bit higher, so it don't sound so muffled. You could also do... Another example is to take an ostinato note, so if we're in the D major scale, we could take the fifth here, which is the A, and the second note, which is the E, and then repeat them like an ostinato. So I highly recommend that you experiment with uh, playing some ostinato notes over your chord progressions because it can give uh, very nice uh, results. Okay, so that's my tips for today on chord progressions. If you have any questions on chords or melodies, you can uh, write them in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe because I have tons of uh, tips on music production, sound design and uh, general music creation and creativity. My name is Matthias and now you can continue and watch my next video. See you in the next one and have a nice day. Bye.